And now that the voting is over, the heat begins as we go into the tail end of the week. Court Clopping here to walk you through the end of your work week, Court. That's right, and Kelly, I can tell you one thing. I don't think anybody voted for what's on the way in our forecast this week. Now, as we're getting ready to head towards your Wednesday afternoon, temperatures are staying on par with what we saw yesterday. So just keep that in mind as you're getting ready to head out. That means a loose fitting light colored clothing and some extra water. Not a bad idea to grab with you. Sunglasses also a good idea as well. We'll be heating up through Friday and it's going to be dangerous heat late this week. And then welcome changes this weekend as we cool down and also the chance for showers returns. As far as what we're seeing is you're getting ready to head out the door this morning. You're going to be met with temperatures in the 60s in the valley, 50s to 60s in the foothills and 40s to 50s in our mountain zones early today. Moving forward, the heat does get dangerous. Friday is projected right now to be the hottest day of the year so far, and that's prompted an excessive heat watch to be issued for the valley from 11 a.m through 10 p.m. Friday that also extends into the foothills. We have a heat advisory that's already been issued as well for Lassen and Plumas County areas from 10 a.m. through 8 p.m. Friday. Temperatures well above the century mark will be possible in the valley Friday afternoon. Winds are out of the north and east and fairly light this morning, but they'll kick up out of the south a little bit this afternoon. Briefly gusty winds out of the northwest in Tehama County specifically this evening, and that's going to result in a modest uptick in fire danger. And then it's mostly winds out of the north tomorrow, and they will get a little stronger tomorrow evening. This is a concern for fire danger, as are the winds on Friday, as they'll stay strong and out of the north. And when you pair that with the hotter temperatures and the drier air mass overhead, that is a recipe for elevated fire danger to end the week. Satellite and radar. I've been tracking some showers that rolled through the northern mountains and even sagged as far south as Shasta County overnight from this wet system to our north. But as that tracks east, it takes that chance for showers with it. High pressure off to our south and east is going to build out to the west over the next few days, and that results in that massive warming trend heading our way. But then get a look at this. High pressure after Friday starts to break down and shift to the east, and that opens up the door for this wet system to drop into the Pacific Northwest, bringing cooling temperatures and that chance for showers through your weekend. The best chance for showers looks to be Saturday night in through Sunday. So here's a look at when and where showers are projected through Saturday. It's a trace of rain just south of the Oregon border Sunday up to around a third of an inch looking likely for Redding. Some mountain areas could be seeing up to an inch of rainfall. That's what's projected for Shingletown, but most valley areas will see less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall. This is almost exclusively going to be a mountain rain event. Redding is the one exception where it looks like some pretty decent moisture falling. Temperatures today in the 80s for the northern mountains, partly to mostly cloudy skies overhead. 70s to lower 80s with partly to mostly sunny skies in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. 70s to mid 80s in the foothills, partly cloudy to mostly sunny. And if you're in the valley today, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies through the day with high temperatures mostly in the mid 90s for your Wednesday afternoon. So it is going to be very warm out there. Remember the average high temperatures for this date in the valley are mostly around the 87 to 90 degree range. So we're above average for today in your storm tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Tomorrow Chico looks likely to hit the triple digit mark 105 projected for Friday 100 still on Saturday and then dipping into the mid 80s with that chance for some light showers Sunday Monday temperatures rebound a little bit Reading its upper 90s Thursday triple digits Friday and then mid 90s Saturday with mid 80s Sunday and then temperatures rebounding as we dry out for the start to middle of next week.